From spring to the Black Sea, the Danube is almost 3,000 kilometers long, drawing water from a catchment area covering about one-tenth of continental Europe. On its journey, this remarkable river passes a broad range of landscapes. The hills of the Black Forest give rise to a Danube that is a mere creek. Alpine rivers add generously to the Danube before it enters the Pannonian Basin. As a mighty river, it breaks through the Carpathian Mountains. Transformed once again into a slow, sandy river, the Danube finally runs smoothly towards the Black Sea, which it enters through an enormous delta. This diversity in landscapes is reflected in the people of the Danube River Basin. There are more than 80 millions of them speaking dozens of languages, some of them living in Europe's poorest, some of them in Europe's richest regions. These people may appear very different from each other, but they are all united through the Danube and they share the responsibility for protecting it together. Why would they care to do so? And what action is needed to protect the rivers of the Danube Basin? Rivers are much more than water flowing from point A to point B. Water bodies are dynamic, three-dimensional ecosystems. In river basin management, one can therefore distinguish between chemical water quality, basically the purity of the water, and ecological quality, linked to the river morphology, biodiversity, sediment transports, and other criteria. A river in good chemical and ecological state will provide good conditions for animal and plant life. To achieve such a good state, all regions within the catchment area of the Danube must align their efforts. This is a complex task. The Danube Basin extends into the territories of 19 countries, making it the most international river basin in the world. To facilitate environmental protection, the main countries of the Danube Basin signed a convention for the protection of this river in 1994. This convention established the International Commission for the Protection of the Danube River, or ICPDR. It coordinates the international work towards improving the quality of water bodies in the entire catchment area. The most important work program of the ICPDR is the Danube River Basin Management Plan. The first plan was based on four major issues hazardous substance, organic and nutrient pollution, as well as man-made changes in the river's flow and structures. For each one of these issues, people throughout the Danube Basin work hard towards improving them. Managing flood hazards is another key task of the ICPDR. Floods are a natural phenomenon, but also a frequent cause of deaths and damages that ought to be managed. If one country fails to retain water sufficiently, the downstream country might suffer even more. Solidarity and coordination among countries is necessary to manage floods sustainably. Balancing the needs of the environment, the economy and society is often difficult. However, considering all of these needs is vital to managing a river basin. The lives of over 80 million Europeans are connected to the rivers of the Danube Basin. Together, these people have a shared responsibility to care for the water they live with. Much progress has been made in the past 20 years. The Danube, this truly European lifeline, is on a good track. Keeping up the good work, 
the ICPDR will help to make the Danube River Basin an even cleaner and healthier place for everyone to enjoy.